hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be my pregnancy update so i am back with pregnancy updates i know i haven't done them in like over a month now so today's update is going to cover between week 28 to week 32 i'm currently 32 weeks today so i finally decided to sit down and film i know it's been like five weeks so i have my phone here i'm going to try and explain everything that has been happening in the past five weeks starting from 28 weeks when i was 28 weeks in the beginning it was fine i last update you guys when i was 27 weeks so 28 weeks started okay when i was about 28 weeks and four days i woke up one morning and i had a scare of my life so i woke up in the morning as always first thing first i went to the bathroom and then i took a pee and i'm one of those people who always check the toilet paper after wiping there was like bright red blood so i didn't know where it was coming from i checked my panty liner because i always wear panty liners all the time so i checked my panty liner there was nothing and i didn't know what to do and i just came back to bed nathan was still sleeping i came back to bed when he woke up i explained everything and then i was actually due to go back to the toilet that time went back to the toilet on the panty liner there's nothing i peed and then on the toilet paper again there was bright red blood and it was still early in the morning so i thought calling the hospital it will take like forever for them to transfer me to like a midwife or a nurse was available to answer me or whatever so i was like okay i'll wait until like 9 10 when my doctor's in the office so i can give him a call and ask exactly what's going on maybe he can like make me calm and make me understand what was going on and if i have to go in i would rather go to the doctor where i would get like a, a quick attendance than going to the hospital so i didn't bother myself calling the hospital i just said and tried to google and see if other people do experience the same problem so i did find some articles where it was explaining like might be old blood might be from intimacy might be something that has to do with the placenta or whatever so come nine o'clock i called my doctor he was still not there it was friday he's muslim so you know they like to take their time and then uh 10 o'clock i called my doctor and explained what was happening and he asked me if i had pains and i said i didn't have any pains and then um the second question was is the baby moving still regularly and then i said yeah the baby was moving fine everything was fine and then he asked me if we had any sexual intercourse on the day or the day before and i said no we did, we haven't really done anything and then he said i should just wait 24 hours and come tomorrow morning same time if the same things is still happening so he did calm me down and explain to me that it does happen to a lot of women around 28 weeks so it's it might not be something serious as long as the baby's smoothing and I'm not in pain. So I was like, okay. Then I was fine, took a shower. And then the same thing kept on happening the, throughout the day. And then at around, I think around 7 in the evening, I went to the bathroom again. And then took a pee and then after that there was no blood. So I was like, what? Is it gone? And then I went back and chilled. I didn't really get excited, but I was like, oh, thank God, I hope it stopped. So I went back again and just chilled, but I was like a little bit calm now because I didn't see it. And it's like scary. I mean, like I haven't been seeing blood coming from down there for like seven months. And out of nowhere, there's like blood bright red blood so i chilled and then um before i went to bed around 10 i went back to the bathroom the same thing happened there was no blood so i managed to sleep properly but i did wake up early at around 4 4 30 in the morning the next day went to the bathroom checked the same thing nothing and then ever since that day i haven't seen blood and then i waited 29 weeks it was the same i actually started having braxton hicks 29 weeks which was actually like crazy first day because i haven't had any i mean it's, the, it's my first child and 
I haven't had any pains or anything. At, at first I thought it was just like cramps. But they would come and then if I move they will like disappear. So I looked online and then I realized that it's actually Braxton Higgs. So that has been happening ever since then, ever since like 29 weeks, non-stop. So it's normal, something that I just have to deal with, which I'm actually getting used to them now because they don't really last long or they will last like less than a minute. And then I just have to like change a position or stand up or like walk a little bit and then they will disappear and then 30 weeks came and then i went for my antenatal appointment at the birthing center so and i explained to the nurse what happened the other day and then what she did was she did a scan the scan was fine the placenta was fine the baby was fine the egg the baby's actually like head down now oh, she also checked the heartbeat and the heartbeat rate was fine um she said it's nothing to worry about the baby's in a good position and the placenta is also sitting in the right position it's probably like all blood something that i shouldn't stress about too much and the baby was actually moving nicely she actually kicked her like five times during my appointment which was actually really really cute and she actually did like before she did a scan she actually did like baby mapping where she was like trying to find out where the head is and where the bum is and where the legs are and the elbows and the knees and the arms before she pulled up a skin that's when the baby actually kicked her like five times and she was like oh here's she's sticking her bum on the side and yet the head is down here which is in a good position and ready for birth so i'm just hoping that she doesn't move she just settled in this position because apparently it's possible for them to decide to switch their position and go into like a bridge position which i don't really want i don't really want surgery i'm scared of surgeries i just i'm just praying and hoping that she settles in this position for now until birth so come 31 weeks i had already known how she's sitting the position that she's in so i can tell the different kicks the different movements I can tell whether it's her legs and she's actually like down now so she's no longer like up here on my ribs which is really really good like I can breathe easily even though sometimes I do struggle to breathe I can breathe easily now and I've been having like these dark stretch marks that won't go away even though I'm applying my bio oil I think I showed you guys on my previous update that I'm starting to see like some dark stretch marks they're like black stretch marks on my waist so i'm just trying to apply by oil but they're not going anyway they're like we are staying and also my belly started to look dark you will see when i show you my uh belly shot it's actually like getting darker the whole belly i think it's like the hairiness in the beginning of my pregnancy i used to shave my whole <laughs> my whole belly i used to shave all around my belly but now i'm like no i don't have time for that so it's like dark i'm not sure if it's the hair or it does change color but it's like dark 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 compared to my whole entire body and now 32 weeks everything is still fine i don't really have any problems i'm just a little bit stressed just trying to work on the list uh, of things that i need to get before the baby's here so i showed you guys like on one of my vlogs that we started uh piling up some nappies we actually have like lots and lots of nappies which can cover us for like up to six months so we have like size one size two size threes and not even just one packet like boxes of those so we are actually fine with that so i kind of like stopped from buying stuff because we're actually having our baby shower in like two days and um my family is going to be around nathan's family is going to be around and some of our few friends so i'm definitely going to vlog it and it's actually going to be on the first of december and i want to do vlogmas so it's going to be our first vlogmas it's going to be my baby shower and the one important thing that i actually have to do next week is to go and book the hospital i haven't done that i know i was supposed to do that like weeks ago but i am 
I'm actually planning to go and do it next week. And yeah, so that's it for this update. I'm going to go ahead and show you my 32 weeks belly. I'm actually 32 weeks today. So this is my 32 weeks belly. As you can see, she's like down here. It's like really, really tight and up here. You can still feel like the little footies, but she's mostly down here. And then on the side, you can see it's like hard. So this is where like her bum is. So she's like lying like this. Her head is down here. And then what I was saying about my belly being dark, I'm not sure if you guys can really see because of my ring light, but it's actually like really, really dark. And my belly button finally popped about three to about two weeks ago. It actually popped. So I have like a popping belly button. And so yeah, this is the stretch marks that I've been talking about, like the dark stretch marks. I've been applying bio oil like almost every day, like sometimes even twice a day, but they don't seem to go anywhere. It's like I've been bruised or something and this side is actually like worse. So yeah, this is my belly and and yeah, so that's it for my 32 weeks pregnancy update. I know I keep on saying this every week, but I will try, try my best to do it weekly because i have like loads of filming planned sometimes i just run out of ideas run out of things to do and i just get lazy so i have like loads of contacts planned i have vlogmas coming up which i also want to try and do it every day and i'm also looking forward to like pack my hospital bag and get everything ready for that so i am going to try and do this every week i know i keep on saying that but be on the lookout for my updates. I'm going to try and do them every week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to enable your notification bell. So you don't miss new videos from me. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.